Hi, my name is Panwadi Fintong. I am a PhD student at the University of California, Irvine. Today, I will be presenting our paper called Polyframe, a retargetable query-based approach to scaling data frames. First, I will talk a little bit about the problem that we are trying to address. Then I will introduce the first version of our library called A-Frame. I will focus specifically on the re-architected version of A-Frame called Polyframe. I will then present some evaluation results and conclude with some of the related work. So in a typical small data analysis, a workflow usually goes like this. We have a data scientist who develops a data analysis pipeline and machine learning model using Python. Running that locally on a laptop on top of a small data set produces some results, which the data scientist will evaluate and oftentimes make some adjustment to the machine learning model or the data analysis pipeline, rerun it, and then reevaluate the results again. This is an iterative process that goes on until the data scientist is satisfied with the model performance. And at that point, the model and the pipeline will be transferred to run on a larger set of data. So to go from small to big data analysis, the locally constructed pipeline will have to be translated and reconstructed using a distributed library syntax. They'll then have to set up and fine tune a distributed compute engine and storage to be able to handle the massive amount of data. Problems with this workflow are that each iteration could take days, if not weeks, and there could be errors when translating the algorithms. So what we would like to accomplish is to allow data scientists to use their locally constructed pipeline and run that directly on top of big data. This will reduce the turnaround time and allow data scientists to be more productive. A way to accomplish this goal is to deliver data scientists with their familiar development interface, and that is Pandas DataFrame. Data frame can be thought of as a data structure or a programming interface to express tabular data manipulations. Data frame is available in both R and Python. To the right is an example of Pandas data frame with three rows and three columns. So even though Pandas data frame is a popular framework, Pandas data frame is memory bound. It can only utilize a single core for processing. Panda uses what is called eager evaluation, which means that it materializes intermediate results in memory for every declared operations. And also Panda's data frame's internal data representation is very inefficient. So in order to try to eliminate some of these limitations, we introduced the first version of our library called A-Frame. So to give you a brief summary, A-Frame is a data analytic library that provides a pandas-like interface directly on top of a big data management system, Apache Asterix DB. In A-Frame, there are two types of operations, transformation and action. Transformations are operations that do not trigger query execution. Another type of operation is called action. Actions are operations that will, that will result in A-Frame sending an underlying SQL++ query directly to Asterix DB for execution, which then returns results. So in A-Frame, instead of executing data frame operations, we delay its execution and instead construct a query. In A-Frame, it constructs query by using a query resulting from the previous operations. So the more operations you perform to an A-Frame object, the more nested your underlying query. For example, data frame number five has this underlying query. So A-Frame is our proof of concept that we can translate data frame operations into SQL++ queries. In order to make A-Frame available to the largest data science community, we try to make A-Frame language independent and we call this re-architected version Polyframe. So in Polyframe, Polyframe is an effort to retarget A-Frame's incremental query formation onto other query-based database systems. And we have done this by establishing a set of common rules 
to map data frame operations to database queries. We also separate language syntax from the query composition process. And by decomposing complex pandas data frame operations into a sequence of common operation allows the system to reuse any combinations of the rules to construct its queries. So in order to create polyframe, we preserve the incremental query formation process from a frame and separate out the query language syntax using language rewrite rules. We also provide an easily extensible database connector that allows users to implement their own socket connection to an underlying database system. So we have established a query rewriting process. When a data transformation is performed to a polyframe object, the operation is translated into a sequence of data frame operations via our generic rewrite rules. Common variables will then be extracted. Polyframe will apply language specific rules to, write, to rewrite a query. The resulting query will become an underlying query of a new polyframe object. So generic rewrite rules identify a set of language specific rules needed for each data frame operation. It also decomposes complex data frame operations into a sequence of steps. Each step is translated via our language specific rule. The language specific rules are required for each query language. We provide a template for language mapping that is broken down into categories such as um, arithmetic operators, comparison operators, and so on. For example, if you would like to operate on a MongoDB instance, you would use our MongoDB connector or provide your own socket connection to a MongoDB instance. You will also select our MQL language rewrite rules. Then when an action happens, the underlying MongoDB pipeline that polyframe generates will be sent over to a MongoDB for execution. So these are examples of the incremental query rewriting process done in four different languages, SQL, SQL++, MQL, and Cypher. We use pattern matching to rewrite common variables. Here, each language has very different syntax, but notice how the rewrite variables highlighted are the same across all of them. So when an action is performed, which is operation six, the results in the following are the following queries. So these are the results of operation six in all of the four languages. We have also conducted a set of experiments. First, on a single workstation, we performed a set of benchmark expressions that can be found in our paper on both Polyframe and Spark, reading from the same MongoDB instant. I will not go into details of how um, these queries are constructed, but we have discussed all of them in detail in our paper. But the takeaway here is that processing of the queries by the database system allows Polyframe to take advantage of database optimizations and data locality to achieve the best performance across all tested expressions. We also performed the same experiment on a three node vertical cluster on a real world data set. And the results are consistent with the single node results. So there are several other scalable data frame libraries that use different approaches to scale pandas data frame. They are discussed in more details in our paper in comparison to Polyframe. Here, we just categorize them based on their execution strategy. So to summarize, I have described to you our framework called Polyframe. Polyframe is a database-backed data frame library that tries to deliver a scale-independent data analysis using panels-like syntax on a variety of database systems. We have established language mapping rules between data frame operations and database queries. And by utilizing lazy evaluation, Polyframe is able to take advantage of query optimizer and avoid materializing intermediate results in memory. That concludes my presentation. Thank you very much.